you guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Mary. I'm sorry if I look a little crazy right now. I have been up since 5 o'clock. The dogs woke me up to go to the bathroom. It's like 6.30 right now. But anyways, if you checked out my last couple vlogs, you know that I am in Las Vegas, Nevada right now. I am currently house-sitting at my aunt's house, and along with that, I am watching her two dogs. Uh, she has a Golden Doodle and a Yorkie Poo. And then, of course, I brought my three other dogs. So it has been chaotic, but a lot of fun. Of course, you already had some drama. Somebody was throwing up blood. So we'll get all into that later in the vlog. But I thought you guys love seeing all the dogs and there's so much to do and everybody has a different personality and it's just so gorgeous out here. So why not vlog it for you? Also, Luna's um, birthday is coming up here in a couple days. So we just got a lot of fun things coming up that I want to share with you. We got the pool. So I hope you guys enjoy this little vlog. If you are new to my channel, it would mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Follow us on all socials. I'm going to keep the intro really short because we got a lot to do this morning, so let's go. So this is Kai, my aunt's doggy. He is obviously the Yorkie Poo. <laughs> And then we have Digger right here. Hi, Diggs. Say hi, Digger. Hi, buddy. And he is obviously the Golden Doodle. Oh, A1 Doodle. So, whatever that means. Hi, buddy. He's very affectionate today. He's actually been doing pretty good that his parents are out of town. Here's Luna. Hi, baby girl. She's so pretty. Hi, honey. I love you. Who's a good guy? Who's my good guy? I love you. Handsome. So I decided to take you guys outside because it is so beautiful, but hopefully you can hear me. But remember when I told you guys earlier in the vlog that somebody was throwing up blood? Well, yes, somebody was, and it was really, really scary because I have never seen that happen, and I've had a lot of dogs in my lifetime. But you know, when you have five dogs, something bound is always to happen. So um, yeah, one morning uh, we woke up and Digger was literally throwing up blood. Um, I have photos of it, so here is a warning, pre-warning if you don't wanna see it. Here's your warning. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what it looked like.
So we woke up to him throwing up to that. Obviously that's very, very concerning and scary. When you go on Google, it just sends you down like a rabbit hole. And it's super scary for us because he's obviously not our dog. Um, but Digger has been sick for like the last two months. He has had bronchitis and he had a fluid in his lungs. Um, he's been on different antibiotics for like two months. The guy's just been really sick, which is really sad. And it's just such a mystery for my aunt because he doesn't go to like dog parks. He literally just stays in his backyard, which is very clean and sometimes walks around his neighborhood, which is, there's not a lot of dogs. He doesn't go to dog parks. Um, Kai, the other little dog, has not been sick, so there's not like there's some like bacteria around here that's getting everybody sick, so it's just been a mystery. So with that, we had to take him to the vet, obviously. We took him to the vet. I think it was like $1,500 later. They did uh, like blood drawn and everything. But the weird thing about it, like that whole morning, he was in really high spirits. He ate his food, he was drinking water, he was super happy to see me that morning. He jumped up and like jumped up on me, showed his teeth. So if he never threw up in front of me, we would have never known he was sick because he was showing absolutely no signs. And still to this day right now, he's He's been really, really good, and we were surprised because he gets pretty depressed like when his mom goes out of town. So yeah, he is a little project. So I have to give him a bunch of pills. It is such a pain in the butt, but thank God he like lets me give it to him. Oh, and also he gets a inhaler. A dog inhaler I didn't even know they had him so he has an inhaler twice a day all his antibiotics like twice a day I have to give him this pill that I shake up in water and shove it down his throat it's horrible but we've learned a little routine um, where I just give him a hot dog afterwards and he's pretty good but I do pretty much just have to like open his you'll see it you'll see the whole thing and I'm sure some of you guys want to know exactly like what the vet said um, they already knew all of his issues he's had. So the vet, you know, was saying it's not as big as a deal as if like he was peeing out blood, um, but they were obviously very concerned. So they ran a bunch of blood tests. Um, they gave him some like electrolytes, but other than that, they're like, I know he seems good. He's acting fine. He's eating, he's drinking water. So they're just monitor him and give him all his medicine. And we gave him like a pill that helps him like not throw up. So the end result, you know, he had to get some blood work done, which we haven't gotten the results yet. But I think they're going to be fine. I mean, I hope to God because the guy's been acting absolutely normal. <laughs> sick, but like on test results, he's sick. So I got to give him all his medicine. So that's what I'm going to show you next. <laughs>
Oh boy. Oh, here comes the sun. Say good night, Capitan. We'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. Say good night, Digger. Let me get your belly. Let me get your belly.